Oh, hi, I'm Chris Fenimore. And I'm Nancy Polinsky. We're having fun already. I know because uh, <laughs> those aren't the leftovers we're going to make, but those are great leftover scenes from other programs. <laughs> We've gathered together uh, an incredible book of ideas and recipes of what to do with all those leftovers that you have, whether it's turkey or ham or chicken or pork or, or vegetables uh, there, uh, or pasta even. And we put them into a, a cookbook. How many pages? Oh, it's like 150 or more pages. So lots of recipes, lots of great ideas. Right. You know, I am married to somebody who says leftovers. And this is a book that's going to turn it into leftovers. Well, yeah, because we're not talking about <laughs> taking what you made and just reheating it and having it again. We're talking about trans transformative recipes, yes. recipes that turn whatever that in those ingredients are that you made too much of, and, and who doesn't make too much turkey or ham? And, I mean, and it's I always sitting there. And I purposely make too oh, much yeah. because I want to have either a second meal or a second opportunity to do something with yeah. it. So. so we're going to give you a chance to get a hold of one of these uh, by becoming a member of WQED, and we'll give you all the information about that. But right now, we, uh, I want to start off with the, uh, you know, the quintessential leftover, turkey. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. And I have to say, turkey is my least favorite part of the Thanksgiving dinner or any dinner that you serve turkey because I love all the side dishes. Everybody, everybody feels the same way. I love turkey leftovers. Because I know I'm crazy. It's just it's, it, I, I love to have it in a sandwich or whatever, but... Uh, turkey alone is not nearly as exciting yeah. as what you can do with it afterwards. And at a Thanksgiving dinner, let's face it, you really just serve the turkey. Yeah. So you're right. The side dishes are what it's about. The other thing is I know you're going to love this recipe, Nancy, because it is so dead easy. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm um, going to love it because I love you. No. That's it, I'm going to love it. Here, here, here's what you do. You take some leftover turkey. And, you know, the recipe calls for amounts. I think it says two cups of leftover turkey. But... You know, it's not it's not precise, right? And and you can this happens to be a you know a, a turkey breast, and I'm going to cube it. But what I've done in the past is to get onto that turkey carcass before I make the soup, yeah. And I just pick off every little piece of meat because it it doesn't matter how close to the bone it was, no, how I, dark I mean, it, it is, light. What you could be dark meat, light meat, but it doesn't have to be in pieces that you can recognize oh, right. because I'm putting it into a food processor. And the only reason why I'm chunking this up is that I want it to sort of pulse regular, you know, into a, uh -huh. into a regular shape. All right, so now I'll put that in there, and I'm going to put in about a cup of uh, leftover stuffing. So Oh, and there's always plenty of that, too. There's always plenty of... Stuffing's so easy to make, we always make a ton of it. Yeah. I'm going to put a little, little more. Okay. So we got, we got plenty of that. Uh-huh. And I'm going to put in uh, a cup of leftover turkey gravy. Which you're also going to have if you have leftover turkey and leftover stuffing. Yeah. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, this is... Did you make this recipe up or did you get it somewhere? Um, actually, I did make it up, and I have to say that I've put variations on this, like, you can't believe it, like, leftover Brussels sprouts, in there, Ooh. you know, <laughs> leftover um, uh, uh, yams, uh, you know, candied yams, yeah. I put them in there. Sounds Mashed good. Mashed potatoes, I put them in no there. No kidding. Oh, yeah, no, this, okay, this, no. I can't wait to taste this. So, now, I'm just going to pulse this. Okay, we're not grinding it to a fine paste. No, not, no, I want to, I want to still have some pieces, but... Of course, it's being really interested to see what this tastes like. <laughs> I gotta stir yeah, this gotta down a little, a little bit. bit. Yeah, um, I probably overloaded this machine. Will this for, help for this? No, this is okay. fine. I'm just, I'm just want to make sure I get it down. Ah, now we're going. Yeah. And as I've said so many times before. How did we live before these contraptions were invented? I don't know. Well, a lot of people have these contraptions and they never use them because they don't know what to make with them. Or in my mother's case, I don't want to clean it. I say, Mom, it takes you longer to do the chopping and the whatever, whatever, than to clean the, all the pieces, you yeah. know? All right, I'm going to give this one more blast. Make sure I get that all mixed up in there. Yeah, smelling good. It's starting to look a little like baby food. No, no, it'll be fine, honestly. Okay, there we go. Once it starts to move around. Oh, no, it's got like a tuna salad consistency. Exactly. Okay, now All I right, see. Now, I need uh, for you to um, take one of those forks and, and beat this egg 
a little bit in there. <laughs> I love it when he puts me to work. And he now I'm trusts going to me with an egg. I'm going to uh, make these into um, balls. Well, you know, Rolls. croquettes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make them into croquettes. And uh, the thing about croquettes is that uh, you know people have a certain image of them uh, being conical shaped. No, I you think know? of them as round. Do you? Yeah. Well, there you go. But 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 maybe I have it wrong. No no no, it's fine. All right. So now, what I'm going to do is okay. Um, once that's beat like that, if you get the um, I'm going to take these out of the way so we have a, a fighting chance. Um, I'm just going to dip this into here and get the uh, breadcrumbs. Put these over here. And I have a... Oh, we're coating it. Yeah, I'm just coating this. Now, I have to say, I didn't put any spices in here at all because the, um, the stuffing provides you with all of that, you know, sage flavor and whatever you... Assuming you put started in with a good stuffing. And the stuffing could be any kind of stuffing. Yep. It, it could be, you know, a, a cornbread based one or uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, and as ours I said, is always oatmeal based. You could also, uh, you know, put, um, um, as I said, the potatoes instead or in addition to. All right, so up here. Yeah. Oh, I forgot one essential ingredient. Ah, that lemon, lemon is I sitting there. What this yeah, lemon what is that doing lemon here? doing? The next one is going to be perfect. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, don't take it personally. Yeah, that one. No one eat that one. That's for me. All right, I'm just going to put a little uh, lemon juice in the egg yolk, uh, in the uh, beaten egg. In the egg. Oh. Okay. And the reason is that it just adds a little uh, tanginess. There we go. A little bite when you uh, bite into it. It sort of freshens it up. Watch me mix. And mix that up. Now, if you have that sheet pan over there, I just want to show. Glistening with some type of spray I or something. I put a little bit of uh, cooking spray on there just so that it, you know, it'll be easier to remove them. Okay. When it, and then I just um, roll them between my hands and then plop it over onto its... That's oh, all. going for the conical thing. Don't you think? Yeah? I don't know. Well, it helps it stand up instead of rolling around on the pan. Right. Which might be why people do that. But, I mean, you could just as easy make them into round balls or patties or what, however you normally do them. I mean, I've, I've only seen croquettes shaped like that. <laughs> so. Okay. So here oh, we I'm, go. Oh, I'm smelling that lemon. It makes a difference. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Okay. So. I don't know if you want to do one. I can do one. Yeah. Watch Let's me. get our, all our hands Ooh. dirty here in the kitchen. It's not a bad job for a kid. Oh, it's gooey. Not too gooey. It holds together. Yeah, no, no. No, I just wasn't expecting it to be so yeah. sticky. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So then. Yeah, you're right. This I is just... good kid stuff. <laughs> and I just put that over there like that. Did you coat it? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Roll yeah, I, I I shape it after I um, ah. after I coat it with the okay, breadcrumbs. Okay, that's what confused me. Thank you. Roll it around. Okay. It's now I have uh, some hopefully finished ones <laughs> in the oven. So let me go get those, and I'll be right back. I love how forgiving this recipe is. The way you're saying it, the amounts don't really matter. Throw in whatever's left over. It doesn't matter whichever vegetables or starch you might have around. Because those of you who watch me regularly know I'm sort of a slave to the recipe. I measure exactly and I don't deviate for fear that I'll mess it up. But this one you're telling me you can't mess it up. I don't think you can. Okay. We have a little plate there. I'm going to put, I'm just going to. I gonna, have ookie uh, hands. Here's, oh, you have, here. Oh, you can wash those. Yeah. Right. All right. What I'm going to do okay. is I'm just going to take this, a plate, because here's the other leftover part of this. Yeah, you can use that to. Um, so. Let's oh. put a couple of these, a nice big one here, so that we'll both have a, a chance to have some of this. And now, what I did was, I took the leftover. Oh, more leftover? Cranberry sauce. Sure, because what goes better with turkey than cranberry sauce? And I just, instead of having serving it cold, which we normally do, yeah. I just put it into a little saucepan and heat it up. It's a, a, like a whole berry cranberry sauce. And, and oh, how pretty. Now, you know, 
That is a meal in itself, you're telling me. That you got the turkey in there, you got the potatoes, you got the, turkey, you got stuffing, the stuffing, and you put veggies, veggies in there. Veggies, or serve this with a salad, and you got a whole meal right there. And I got to also look how tell pretty. you. That's kind of elegant looking. I got to tell you how much I enjoy this the next day. And it doesn't take a whole lot of time. So let's get some forks, and uh, I think I used all the forks cooking here. here no, oh, no I, I got I'm, one. I, I got one here. All right. Um, so go ahead and have a bite. You go first. You betcha. It's going to be a little hot, so blow on it. It's as nice and say. crunchy. Good. Oh, yeah, it's crunchy on the outside and sort of creamy on the inside. Now it's... Mmm. Mmm. It is creamy. You're right. But what I love about it is it has all of that turkey and stuffing flavor Oh, that's delicious. And uh, it's sort of easy going. Oh, my uh, gosh. You know, so this is a great uh, after oh turkey uh, dinner uh, leftover. Mm. And uh, you've you got you, the book there. you got to get this. Yeah. This is so good. <laughs> I knew mm. you would like this. You, I knew you'd like the recipe, too. Mm. So if you want to get this recipe for uh, turkey, what are we calling these? Croquettes. <laughs> and uh, over 150 more great ideas and recipes for what to do with mm. leftovers, here is your chance.